Okay, here you can see we've got a hole uh, drilled in the exhaust manifold across the top there. Cut pretty well. Um, once you get uh, to where you're close to boring through, just dunk the drill bit in grease and go for just a second and pretty soon the drill bit will kick out a uh, glob of uh, grease with metal shavings in it. And time to blow the hole out and uh, put some more grease on the bit. Of course, once it's uh, broken through the inner uh, layer there, you don't want to blow the uh, chips into the engine, so just pick it up with a uh, pickup. And uh, next we'll be uh, taking the tap here and cutting some threads into the hole uh, using grease the same way. Uh, might note you want a fairly small magnetic uh, pickup, or make sure you have one so that you have something that will go down that uh, hole. Okay, kind of a funny camera angle here, but here you can see we've got the tap uh, pretty well worked into the uh, manifold there. A uh, couple words of caution regarding this. Uh, when you push the, uh, twist the tap forward, make sure that you're not pushing the tap one way or the other, that you're providing twisting force on the axis of the tap. So you get nice, uh, clean threads. And... Uh, also, if you snap that tap off in there, you're going to have a bad day. Uh, it's not something I would use uh, tool steel made from the developing world, I guess you could say, without being too politically incorrect. Uh, also, as you uh, push the tap uh, forward and feel it cut and kind of bind, don't reef on it. Uh, back the tap up a turn or so, you'll feel it uh, cut off the chips that it made and uh, then go ahead and turn it forward and every once in a while pull it out and uh, take a brush clean the chips and stuff out of it and put some more grease on it and give it a shot looks like we've got some uh, fairly uh, nice looking threads there get that started right And just by eyeball, it looks like when I get that tightened down, um, it'll be about the depth I wanted. That is with the uh, inside edge flush with the uh, inside edge of the, uh, the manifold there. I am guessing there probably isn't much for uh, chips in there, but we'll run a little magnet around and... I can get in the dang hole, you bugger. Yeah, we got a little futz. Uh, not really much anything. We'll wipe it off and uh, run it down there again. I might note that uh, some folks advocate plugging up the uh, exhaust pipe with something and doing the drilling and uh, tapping with the engine running. Um, I'm not too big of a fan of that idea. I've noticed uh, when you let the engine idle or at idle speed with the exhaust brake on, basically a big butterfly valve at the end of the turbo there that uh, builds up exhaust back pressure that uh, you'll find it'll push uh, um, soot up into the intake manifold and uh, anyway if you're that concerned about getting chips in the turbo imagine what it'd be like if chips uh, backwashed into the engine and ended up in the uh, rings and piston um, like I said, I've never known anyone to ruin a turbo uh, with chips if they take appropriate precautions. Of course, do this at your own risk, but uh, even if you did, stock turbos uh, are pretty cheap since people tend to uh, upgrade, so you could find a used turbo if you had to. Of course, you'd want to find somebody that... Uh, upgraded the turbo when they put a boost fooler or other performance uh, thing on it.
instead of somebody that ran the stock turbo at higher pressure than it was intended and probably screwed it up and then decided to upgrade the turbo and uh, you might be buying somebody's damaged uh, goods there see if we can suck out any little bits out of those threads pretty well coming back clean just to kind of clean those up I'm going to take a military style toothbrush with a little shot of uh, a carburetor cleaner on it and wipe that out just the grease off of there in order to make sure we don't have any little flakes anything and got us some nice clean threads going on there yeah, looks like there's still a little gob of something Part of the casting. Uh, just be paranoid. Make sure we got absolutely everything out of there we can get. Just don't like whatever that is on those threads. There's just a little bit of grease still. That looks pretty good. off of this too. That's better. And then we've got our Molly anti seize that's a pain in that once you get it on your fingers it's really a booger to clean up I don't want to get it all over my uh, valve cover uh, thing here either stuff all over everything. 